All right, all right, all right. We are back. By the way, big shout outs for, for anybody viewing, like, basically, um, I, I, this, this is going to be designated as, like, the XL, I don't know, something like that. The full edition, the XL dish, edition. For anybody that's watching this entire thing, thank y'all so much. <laughs> I appreciate all the love and support. I, now, I tried to keep the, the break a little short, so, you know. You ain't have to wait too long or whatever, but you know what? We back in the mix, and of course, my people over here, woo, over here, <laughs> yo. So, yo, we got part two. We got, ooh, you know what? My bad, y'all. Okay, I got caught up, yo. I got caught up. I heard, I heard the baby. He was snapping every time I take a photo. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> we, this right here, this is part two. All right, this is going to have the special announcements and it's going to have the hot topics. All right, now hold on. Also, matter of fact, you know what? Because now I'm gonna get into the special announcements. But all right, seeing that as I know what the first special announcements is gonna be, let me go ahead and put on some some a song that's gonna be, you know, I guess sort of kind of related to the organization. Um, where is it at? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me type it up. Let me type it up. Damn, which one do I want to go for? Do which one do I want to go for? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go for that one. My fault, y'all. My fault on being so indecisive. I got something. I got something. I got something. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So we are, let me go ahead and cut the volume down just a little bit because I want to, like, I know sometimes, like, whenever, like, whenever I do, like, go back and watch some of the, like, former episodes of the Royal High Table and some of the videos, or even the vlogs, like, I got the music up a little loud. My bad, y'all. My bad. I fuck up. I fucked up. Uh, but, uh, ooh, excuse me. Shit, that one was a big one. A big burpee burpees. All right. <laughs> Hola, 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 hola. Okay, let me stop. But let me go ahead, right? I played the music. Now, this is related to this particular organization. They are no stranger to my channel. I have already mentioned shit. I ain't gonna hold you. I might like, I, I got some videos. I got some videos with this org. I got some videos with many orgs. Um, but I've been getting in real, real good with this particular org this semester. Even though, I, you know, me, me and this org, you know, we, we, we've been, we've been like this ever since I stepped foot on campus. But, but, but. Special announcement for the Caribbean Students Association. All right. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a trip. But yo, big shout outs to the Caribbean Students Association. All right. Um, whenever we come back from spring break, all right, that next week it is CSA motherfucking spring week. All right. Um, I think I, I may have the dates wrong, but it's like from the 21st to the 27th or something like that. Alright, so basically they're going to have events every single day of the week or something like that. Definitely going to be Monday through Friday. I tell y'all that much. Definitely Monday through Friday. Um, now, I know for, well, damn, I, that's crazy because I know they typically like to have manhunt. I don't know if, if they're going to have it because they typically have manhunts on Wednesday, but they're not going to have it on this particular Wednesday or this particular CSA week for this particular spring year. You know, <laughs> just because on March 23rd, Wednesday, we have the CSA pageant, man. We have the CSA pageant going down from 7 to 10. Um... That, that, that time, uh, that may not be exactly right, but, you know, it's around that approximate time. But for sure, for sure, it's definitely going down on March 23rd, all right? And for sure, for sure, it's going down at the Globe Auditorium, all right? And not only that, you guys, I am the sixth contestant, all right? And, yo, I've been practicing. You know what? Fuck this, all right? L let me stop doing all this me, all this me shit. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me put on another song. Let me put on another song. Hold up, hold up, hold up. My bad, y'all. All right, now, I really fucks with this song, though. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm sorry for, for fucking up me away. But, anyway. 
as a unit, me and my pageant brothers and sisters, all right, and which, by the way, I'm going to shout them out by name, all right, so you have, of course, me, and, okay, you got, you got my pageant, my pageant sisters, you got Kaylin Myers, you have Carissa Huggins, you got, you got Tova, Renee, Dome La Fortune, all right, and you got, you got Raven Jean Joseph, and then, as far as the gentlemen, all right, again, outside of me, you have Francisco Jean Pierre, and you have Elijah Jean as well, all right, we are all, there's seven of us, we're going to be competing, you know, well, girls are going to be competing against girls, guys are going to be competing against guys, four girls, three guys, all right, um, and, and, and there's going to be a, listen y'all, there's going to be so many different sections, there's going to be a dance section, there's going to be a skit section, there's going to be an introduction, there's going to be a, a beach wear, there's going to be a cultural wear, there's going to be a talent wear, there's going to be an evening wear, there's going to be a, a questions and answers, there's going to be um, superlatives, and then we find out who actually won, alright, so this is going to be fucking awesome, fucking spectacular, y'all definitely have to pull up, again, this is going down at the Globe Auditorium, March 23rd, 2022, from 7 to 10. I want to see y'all there, all right? <laughs> all right. So, oh yeah, and by the way, again, once we come back from spring break, March 21st to March 27th or whatever, CSA is going to be fucking doing their thing when it comes to these events. But you know what? I, I, I almost I almost wanted to stop talking and just, just fucking dance. Big shout out to Shen Sia. Matter of fact, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Doom, doom. Jordan. Jenny Records. A Shen Sia. <laughs> Big shout out to Shen Sia. But now, my fault, my fault. All right. I'm going to have to cut. I'm going to have to cut this shit off. I'm going to have to cut this shit off, and then I'm going to have to get into a different kind of bag, y'all. I'm going to have to get into a different kind of bag. Let me see. Let me see. What what what, what am I going for? What song am I going to choose? Hold up. Hold up. Let me. Let me. Oh, yep. This one. This one right here. This one right here. This one right Yep. Yep. Cut this bitch up. Cut this motherfucker off. <laughs> because just like... CSA is popping off. We gotta give some big shout outs to the Hispanic Latin X student union at FSU because yo, 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 guess what they got going on? Listen, CSA got a pageant on the 23rd. Guess what they got? Guess what they got going on? HLSU, they got going on on the 25th. They got a pageant! They got a fucking pageant that will be going down March 25th on Friday. Let me cut the volume down. Right, a little bit, a little bit. March 25th on Friday, all right? And I think the time will also be around the same. Um, I, I don't know for certain. But yes, March 25th, and it will be going down at the Moore Auditorium. Not Globe, Moore Auditorium for this one, all right? So, and not only that, yo, listen, man. There's four, what, what, uh, I, no, there's not four of us. There's actually six of us. All right, and my apologies because I did not. You know what? No, 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 no. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm pull up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up everybody's name. I'm gonna pull up everybody's name, but because I know everybody's first name, right? But yo, there's six of us. All right, there's two gals. They, they uh, one. Everybody's competing against everybody. There's two gals. All right, and there's four dudes. So this is this is gonna be this. I said this. <laughs> this is gonna be lit. This is gonna be lit. But. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, okay, okay. So let me cut the volume down. All right. So, so for our first contestant, we have Jonathan Oliva Infante. All right. Big shout out to Jonathan. He is our first contestant. All right. We have our second contestant. All right. We got Desiree. All right. Oh, and which, by the way, both contestant number one and contestant number two are, hey, listen, they represent the Mexican American Student Association. So big shout outs to those two contestants and big shout outs to the Mexican American Student Association. All right. And then we have for contestant number three. All right. We have the president of the PRSA. All right. The Puerto Rican Student Association. We have Ismael. All right. Pagan Gonzalez. Big shout outs to him. By the way, that's one of my presidents as well because, you know, I'm, 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 I'm 
working, but you know, I'm doing my thing for PRSA as well. All right, big shout out to Isma. All right, oh, big shout out to Isma. My fault. And contestant number four. Contestant number four is so fucking special. That's that boy, Zachariah Trayvon White, aka Big Daddy Drip in the mix. Contestant number four pulling up for a second pageant in this motherfucking semester. All right. <laughs> All right, yo. All right, but you know what? I ain't gonna speak too much on me because, yo, contestant number five, we have Alejandro Santiago. All right, he will, he's our contestant number five, and I think he is in the Fiotas fraternity. All right, just like Isma, he's also in the Fiotas fraternity as well. Big shout out to that fraternity. And my fault, let me go back to. The oh yes, all right, and contestant number one, Jonathan. He is from the uh, Row Alpha chapter. Wait, oh, the Beta fraternity. So big shout outs to those as well. Oh, I said those. Big shout outs to that fraternity as well. And last but not least, we have contestant number six. We have Christine Gonzalez. All right, she is our six in final contestant and just like the, the those guys and get us guys and gals uh, from on CSA side we're gonna put on one hell of a show on Wednesday you know hey hey we also gonna come back and put on the show on Friday as well your boy your boy big daddy drip is gonna double back and and, and make a fucking classic back to back bangers in this bitch all right but I'm not even done I'm not even done because HLSU still got one more thing that I gotta promote all right but let me find something else come on now, what what else what else what else am I gonna put on hold up hold up hold up let me let me let me let me find something let me find something hold up matter of fact mm, you know what they they taught me this song they taught me this song they taught me this song let me cut this up. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right. Now, yo, HLSU, they still got something going on, yo. They got on March 31st, the HLSU 2022 Festivales del Barrio, all right? All right, that's going down at Landis Green at 6 p.m. There's going to be food, there's going to be music, and there's going to be a festival showcase, all right? So, yo, y'all also make sure that y'all pull up to that event again. It is Festivales del Barrio, all right, March 31st at 6 p.m. at Landis Green. It's going to be food music and a festival showcase all right now y'all i'm also going to do my best to like I'm, I'm still going to like i'm going to after i finish this episode of the royal high table i'm going to i'm going to make a, a second uh, we're going to make our second episode of the news of the people and i'm going to promote those three events maybe i might i think i might also um maybe later on in the week i might also like find some other events i don't know i don't know i don't know i still gotta i still gotta figure it figure all that shit out but y'all y'all are aware of those events pull up and show love and show and show support all right but now with that being said we could actually get back to the regular scheduled programming my fault y'all for getting so hyped with that one but you know what Sorry, not sorry. Hold on, 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 hold on. Lo que pasó, pasó entre tú y yo. 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 Okay, okay, let me stop before I fuck, I fuck around. <laughs> I, don't, I mess around turn this bitch into a concert, bro. And this ain't even my song. <laughs> all right, but yo, yo, yo. So now that we done got through the announcements, all right. Um, Now we are here with the second half of the Royal High Table, which is the Hot Topic section. All right, and the first one that I have really is is a is is also sort of kind of a shout out. Um, what I have for the headline of this one is a new NBA milestone record holder. All right, 
And this is coming from ESPN, all right? And even more specifically, is coming from an ESPN staff writer, Om Young Misuk. Uh, I may be mispronouncing that. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I, I, oh, okay, I'm still gonna, I, I don't want to do it the service, but I also don't like. I, I want to give full credit to the person who made it. Uh, so again, Om O H M and then Young Misuk, like Y O U N G M I S U K. All right, big shout outs to him. Um, and also, you guys feel free to to pull up on ESPN's web, um, ESPN's website and and check out this particular article that I'm talking about. Um, wow, it, it's crazy because I didn't even put the name of the actual fucking article. I. I I made my own headline and didn't put the name of the article. Isn't that crazy? Um, let me... <laughs> that's crazy. Hold up. But the actual headline is... Yo, this shit's taking mad long. You know what? Fuck it. It don't matter. But anyway, just know this, right? In this particular topic, in this particular article... All right. It is discussing how Greg Popovich just pat yo he 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 messed around. And he got it. He got a record. Well, I think I don't know how many records he has. I don't know if he has one, but he's definitely got one after you know. He's definitely got one now. Um, and and I, I managed to get a couple quotes from this particular article. So, one quote that I had states. Greg Popovich became the all-time winningest head coach in the NBA with 1,336 victories. Popovich surpassed Don Nelson, who previously held the record for the most regular season wins with the San Antonio Spurs, a 104-102 victory over the visiting Utah Jazz on Friday night. And another quote said, it's just a testament to a whole lot of people. Oh, oh. Popovich said something like this does not belong to one individual basketball is a team sport you preach to your players that you have to do it together and that's certainly been the case in my life with all the wonderful players and coaches the staff that I've been blessed with the support of this wonderful city the fan support no matter what all right oh 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 my apologies all of us share in this in this record. It's not mine. It's ours here in the city, All right? Um, and and yo and Don Nelson, he even like he he even like got on camera and and made a video congratulating um, congratulating you know Coach Popovich for this particular achievement. Um, now, granted. I, I, I'm not too familiar with Don Nelson, but I'm not the big, I'm not, I'm not like the most well-versed basketball fan or whatever. So, but, but that, that is a pretty big fucking deal. Um, and I'm trying to think, is there anything else that I can recall from the article? Like there was, there was one player on the San Antonio Spurs bench who basically, who, who, who stated that like, Popovich is not a celebratory kind of guy, so he, so he, de he, so he, 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 even beyond, like, you know, his response, you know, his quote was was a very humble, you know, a humble response, a humble quote, you know, in response to the achievement. Uh, but he he carries that same sentiment even again, you know, when the cameras aren't off, because yeah, he mentioned that again, he he didn't like. He didn't necessarily, he, he didn't, uh, basically, you know, he didn't want to celebrate it too much and he didn't like want to like, I guess, you know, showboat it and, and really, you know, I guess like, you know, just go about, keep going on and on talking about it. Um, but nonetheless, though, hey, the, 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 the players and the rest of the squad, uh, they, they, they're definitely, um, they're, they're definitely, it, it's, it is an achievement, one hell of an achievement. So they're, they're, they're going to continue to, to, to champion, you know, the coach, um, that hell that that's no easy feat. 1,336 wins. That shit is fucking crazy, bro. But as far as, uh, do I have like any thoughts on this one? Um, the only thing, like the only thing, and I don't mean to get opinionated, I, one, it, it doesn't surprise me that this was Popovich's response, um, just because, like, I mean, it. Now, Popovich gives me like um, Belichick sort of kind of vibes, um, 
So I, I wouldn't quite necessarily. And just like now, I guess for different reasons, I wouldn't expect Belichick to to go about promoting and parading if he if like, you know, like parade the fact that he has like the most amount of like, you know, uh, coaching wins or whatever. Uh, and also and, and for that same matter, I, I don't I didn't expect for Popovich to, to, to go about parading this one, you know. Um, so yeah, every everything just sort of kind of aligned with what I figured would have happened, you know, if if Popovich ended up getting this particular record. Um, but nonetheless, I'm I'm hey hey listen, I'm 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 happy for him. <laughs> I'm happy for him, even though I don't I don't know the guy. Uh, well, my fault, not guy. I don't know the man. Um, but yeah, yeah, big shout outs to him. Big shout outs to him. Um, but. Although, and my apologies, guys, for not having a whole like I, I spoke a whole lot on everything, but <laughs> I, I I didn't quite have a whole lot to really say about this one. We do have a second point of interest, and this topic, and and I, I forgot to put the freaking title for this particular, um, I guess this this piece of news. Uh, but I created a headline of my own. I put Houston. I think. We had, I think we still have a problem. <laughs> like Houston, I think we still have a problem. Um, it's again coming from the same source, ESPN, um, ESPN staff writer. Oh, th now the staff writer is different. This one is Sarah Barshop. All right. So again, big shout outs to, to uh, Sarah Barshop and big shout outs to ESPN. Y'all again, go check out ESPN. Like if y'all want a, a, a greater look at the information, because I don't quite have every single, you know, uh, detail like listed down and and you know i guess one in my notes and two i'm not going to talk about every single detail that was discussed um but yeah you guys feel free to go check that out um but this was regarding the deshaun watson instant uh incident um and it's crazy because just the other day on social media uh i had saw i i saw some of the news um uh, i saw a headline of the news but these are just some of the quotes that I got, right? A grand jury on Friday declined the um, indict Houston Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson following a police investigation sparked by lawsuits filed by 22 women who have accused him of sexual harassment. Oh, of harassment and sexual assault. Prosecutors from the district attorney's office in Harris County, Texas, presented evidence and testimony to the 12 person grand jury for over six hours on Friday related to the nine of the 10 criminal complaints filed against Watson. The grand jury, which does not require a unanimous vote, rejected all nine cases. Prosecutors did not present the 10th. Okay. And we have this, this. Now, I have a couple more quotes, but this quote is, is, is from Deshaun Watson himself. It's definitely a very emotional moment for me. I know we're far from being done, um, done of handling what we need to handle on the legal side. But today is definitely a big day. I thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for letting the truth be heard, and I thank everyone that was a part of seeing and hearing both sides. That's what my point in my team wanted to do, is have a fair slate of us telling our side of the story and letting the conclusion come to what happened today. And that's what the, the grand jury decided on. I'm just going to keep fighting to rebuild my name and rebuild my appearance in the community and on the legal side handle what we need to handle but also ready to get on the field and prep for that a couple more quotes all right oh, oh shit damn i had three <laughs> i got three my bad y'all uh the announcement on friday came nearly a year after the first civil lawsuit was filed against watson the 22 civil cases accuse him of a range of actions during massage appointments from touching women with his genitals to forced oral sex okay Eight of the women who sued Watson filed criminal complaints against him with Houston police and had set, been set to appear before the grand jury. Two other women who did not sue Watson also filed police complaints. In January 2021, Watson asked 
the Texans to trade him because he was unhappy. Oh, oh, this, 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 this comes. This quote is at the very, very end of of everything. In January 2021, Watson asked uh, the Texans to trade him because he was unhappy about the direction of the franchise. While members of the Texans organization have declined to comment specifically on Watson's legal situation, General Manager Nick uh, Cesario or oh, oh uh, Kiss. Casario uh, said earlier this month that the team is day to day in terms of handling Watson's situation. Last week, Coach Love e. Smith said the Texans are hoping for a prompt resolution to Watson's future with the team. Okay, um, there was a whole lot. Uh, there was, and and here's the thing: this isn't even though I have a lot of quotes right here. This isn't even all. This this isn't nearly everything. Um, but now we get to the point of what were what were the thoughts? What were the thoughts? Um, I'm going to go and try to, I guess, take the quotes piece by piece, or or wh whichever ones stood out the most to me. Take them piece by piece. Um, but after like I read the article at the the same I, I I felt the same way um that I felt when when I saw the saw the thing on on social media uh, and basically on social media what I saw was basically he wasn't indicted <laughs> uh basically uh I'm not going to say he was set free but none of the charges stuck um, and, and I, I didn't know all the finer details. What I knew was that supposedly there was a high number of women that came out and spoke out against him. And, and, and my apologies, guys, I'll be entirely truthful with you guys. Um, again, like I said, I didn't know. Like until until I, I read this article, I didn't know of the finer details. But when I first heard about it, like you said, like a year ago, I was doubtful that this was true just because like one, I don't know Deshaun Watts. Like I'm not gonna talk as though I know him personally, but from what I saw of him, like, you know, on you know, television, you know, just and I guess, you know, his play, then, you know, he, hearing, you know, him speak during um, interviews and, and, and I don't know, just just getting somewhat of a, it's getting somewhat of a feel. It may not be the best. I'm not saying that my interpretation, you know, and, and the way that I got the interpretation is 100 percent like, oh, yeah, you know, 100 percent, you know, foolproof or whatever. No, I'm not saying that. But like I like. I know the impression that I got of him, which was he was a stand a, a stand up dude, stand up gentleman, um, and then and then I, I see and then he gets hit with all. I I didn't believe it. Like I I I, I okay for the for the sake of not one because you know it, some sometimes things go either way. So for the for the sake of anything happening, I didn't write off any side. But if I had to have chose, if if I, if, if they were like Zach picks pick a side immediately, I I didn't think Deshaun did that. Sh I, I I don't think Deshaun did that shit. Um, I, I I don't think so. And I think even beyond, even even beyond, um, you know, I guess I guess Deshaun Watson. It just seems as though. That sh is it's just the norm nowadays. It that th that's what it really seems as though. It seems as though like it's the norm for in like anybody of you know whether sports athlete, musician, whatever you know. Um, one, it, it, it's like the norm to to f for somebody to fuck around and get accused of doing something they're not supposed to be doing with a, with with a woman, and then not only that. You know, it, it seem it's seeming like it's becoming the norm that now you didn't just you know like now oh no 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 there's a large number of people you supposedly did it to, um, and it's it's crazy it's it's crazy, 
Um, <clears throat> and then just just looking back, and 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 not only that, I'm 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 just <clears throat> just. Things may not be always as they appear. I'm again. I'm still. I'm not trying to write off anybody. Things may not always be as they appear. But there was a twelve-person grand jury. There were ten cases, ten complaints, whatever, that were brought up, or or that were filed against Watson. And the jury decided against nine of them. The jury thought that there wasn't enough evidence to suggest that or to 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 solidify that Watson was guilty on nine separate occasions. And the prosecutors didn't even present the last one. Yeah, nah, this is it not not even even that is sometimes it, it it's it would be hard proving that sort of thing, I guess in either direction, but with those numbers, they said twenty two women came out and spoke up against it, against him, and no charge and, and, and no criminal charges stuck and now I don't know, I, I think it, it seems like, of course, that there's like some other thing for him to worry about. There's still like other shit, but n- nothing stuck as far as criminals regard. And and I, I'll say this: this is really going to look. I tell you, this this is this is really going to look bad on behalf of like on behalf of um you know like those women. If they don't catch him even at the civil level, if they don't get him at the civil level, yo, that what something this is is I I I wow that I man just just for the sake of not being biased, man, shit. People, y'all, y'all, for whoever, everybody just do the right thing. Everybody just do the right thing. Don't, don't do no stupid shit to land you. Just, 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 wow. I just, I don't know. Because I didn't think he was guilty to begin with. And it's like, the the main thing that I thought about was, like, I guess the, 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 the thing, or because like I looked at the comments from the social media posts, and they said, "Okay, well, how is Deshaun Watson supposed to get reimbursed for the time that he lost out? Because he one, he lost out on the season. Two, he lost out on a fuck ton of endorsements because they said, oh, well, you're going through this shit, so you know, cut off the endorsement deals or whatever.' So it's like, and then." An idea that was pr- proposed within the comment section was that, especially if nothing happens, if he re- if Watson is guilty, well, not guilty, uh, if he's found innocent of everything, what price is to be paid of the accusers? Because that's a whole number of people coming up. That's a whole number of people, a, a, a big number of people coming up. And nothing stuck. So, I don't, but this is, and, and I don't know, guys, this is this is society's problem. There was once a point, of, a time where all these, uh, you know, a number, I'm sure a number of sexual assault, um, a number of rape instances, a number of sexual harassments, um, you know, they, 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 they went down and, and a lot of it flew under the radar. Um, and, and, and it seemed like society moved in, in, a, in, in a good direction to, to combat that. But now we've, there, 
obviously, I, um, I may be speaking to the choir, but preaching to the choir, but now there's the concern of, well, damn, false allegations. That's pretty fucking big. And that cost this dude big time. It cost him big time. And I tell you this, it, 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 now, granted, he's already rich. And he's going to become even richer, especially again, like I said, if he's if he's especially if he gets off free of everything. It, it, I don't know, probably even if he does not he's still going to be he's still going to, you know, be able to make money. But had this have been an ordinary man, you know, not making, you know, not in a limelight, not, you know, not an NFL player, whatever, they'd have been fucked. They'd have been fucked. He's talking about building, you know. One that that's tough in itself, you know, for Deshaun Watson. Now he's got to build back that reputation because so many people. It's it's just it's just so tricky. The the repercussions of these false allegations is so is so great. Just just as just as the effects of when these things actually go down is so great and profound as well. It's just. I don't know. I just I just hope that we as a society um we could come and 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 I guess find that happy medium to really balance between those two uh those two negative outcomes, those two negative occurrences because again, we don't want anybody, anybody of any gender, any race or whatever just to, you know suffering from again sexual harassment sexual assault rape and also at the same time we don't want anybody because once you get hit with an allegation or an accusation like that shit fucks everything up Re like pause regardless of what happens the moment that somebody comes forth and says it that fucks Everything up, regardless of it. Like I've seen instances of, regardless of if it even gets taken to the police, regard. Like it doesn't even have to go to the police. It doesn't even have to go before the judge or whatever. It, it still can fuck you up. So we we got to do that. That's that's the one thing that I'll say. All right, because I, I I'm not trying. I don't. I'm not. I'm I'm not about to go and 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 speak down and vilify any of the 22 women that came up or that that spoke out. But we do as a society have to find a way to balance between those two negative extremes. Otherwise, somebody's always going to get fucked over, all right? And this the, there's always going to be issues. You know, it, it, it really nothing's going to get done because all you did was it, it's like a it's like a it's like a scale, you know. And people are complaining that the that the, all the weight fell on one side, and and now that it's lifted, you know, I, it, it's good that it's lifted. But just because the weight falls on the other side, that don't necessarily make that a good thing, you know. So that that's 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 something that we're gonna have to work on. But mm, that that's all that I have to say about that particular topic and and yo I'm not gonna lie that's that's all for this particular episode <laughs> that's all for this episode of the royal high table man now hold up let me go ahead and cue the music what song am I gonna play what song am I gonna play hold up hold up yeah I haven't heard this in a while my oh yo hold up I'm gonna let this play you know what? I should have I should have my music up <laughs> at all times. You know what? It's cool. We'll we'll let it rock with this. We'll let it rock with this. But anyway, y'all, that is going to conclude this episode. All right. And you know what? I guess what better way to end the shit out than with some Post Malone, Motley Crue, big shout out to motherfucking Post Malone, man. All right. Now, yo, again, that is what episode number 32 down in the books. Um, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to get this out to Anchor. I'm going to get this out to whichever other podcasting sources that I get it out to. I'm also going to upload the segments and the whole thing out to YouTube. Um, let's see. What else? What else? Um, so, y'all y'all definitely, obviously, check out the videos. Uh, y'all also make sure that you check out the... Excuse me. 
check out the GTA San Andreas series because that's also pretty fucking lit. All right, we've been we've been putting in some pain when it comes to that. Now, granted, um, when it comes to video games like the, the actual console um, content that might get put off on halt until I'm able to like you know get enough money to actually get another TV and and act. bro, listen, I, I'm really trying to like. I'm really trying to upgrade or whatever, so yeah, whenever I'm able to really, like, rebuild, because now, like, I feel like I'm in war mode, you know, like, not not necessarily in the sense that, like, like, well, I mean, I don't know, I'm, I'm in, like, competition mode, uh, and, and, and yeah, so, definitely, money was spent, money was spent, <laughs> that's all I gotta say, uh, but, but no, 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 but, uh, whenever I do, I'm gonna try to get my, uh, get my hands as soon as possible on the TV, uh, at, on TVs multiple so that I'm able to, to put in some work and do a little bit of something, something, uh, but outside of that, man, I mean, shit, I, we still gonna keep doing our thing, still gonna keep doing our thing, we still gonna keep doing us, um, but, like I said, that is gonna conclude it, also, yo, I said check out, uh, GTA San Andreas, um, that playlist, uh, that those videos also make sure that you check out Madden 15 because look, bro, we fucking we, we, we fucking that up too. <laughs> we doing our thing in that too, so y'all check that shit out as well. Um, I'm going to tomorrow. I'm going to try to get in another episode of the Royal High Table, and I'm also going to try to do the second episode of the News of the People. All right, so y'all stay tuned for that, man. All right, but hey, thank you guys so much for being here with me, for being troopers, always showing love, support, all that other sort of jazz. If y'all enjoyed, y'all leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all right, you know, and, and most importantly, y'all make sure that y'all stay tuned, y'all stay tapped in, and y'all stay locked in because the juice never stops dripping, all right? All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and be easy.